I was on the WMDT 47 website and read that the GOP of Sussex County won their lawsuit to put Brian Pettijohn on to the November 6, 2012 ballot for Delaware's 19th Senatorial District. The addition of Pettijohn could give it a legitimate election and can help the district to heal from the Eric Boldenweiser 113 count indictment of child abuse between September of 1987 and October of 1990. Excluding Pettijohn in the first place didn't make no sense. The member of the Sussex County Board of Elections was using this logic that there wasn't no trial of Eric Boldenweiser and and he was he wasn't a died it uh, of the charges. He could serve his uh, office while in jail. I don't see that it, I don't see that logic. In the news earlier when the grand jury um, came out with the 113 count indictment, Eric Boldenweiser um, made the logical choice to drop out and turn himself in to the Delaware State Police. That makes logical choice. He could concentrate on the upcoming trial and put politics aside. Let's get back on the subject on Pettijohn. If if Pettijohn was on the ballot, we should not have the election and should award it to Jane Horvathan. And um, I'm, I'm going to give a, a message to the voters of the Delaware Senatorial 19th District. Go out and vote on November 6th between Jane Horvathan and Brian Pettijohn. It's time for healing. It is time to pick a right person to um, to be elected so they can serve on January 2013. Put the Eric Boldenweiser um, 113 count indictment how your mind on, on the time, at the time of the election. J just go up there and vote. And leave the trial for Eric Boldenweiser because he has to face the um, courts and the Almighty. Just go out and vote on November 6th. It may sound strange that a Democrat like me is cheering for this, but you don't know me. I can vote on a split ticket and, and I consider that as being fair. Well, 
That's it. This is Roy Toomey broadcasting from his Acer computer of Dagsboro, Delaware. And the date is October 26, 2012. And the time is 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. 